While speaking during a media conference this week, Kavihuha said they welcomed the declaration of the state of emergency on drought. However, the phenomenon remains persistent. He recommended that the Electricity Control Board should reverse its decision to increase the tariff of 7.7%. He also called on municipalities not to disconnect electricity, water, services and should be prevented from increasing its utilities prices. Kavihuha expands further. We are also further calling about Bank of Namibia to engage the commercial banks uh, so that they can also have some leniency in terms of treating their creditors uh, so that we don't observe a lot of um, repositions of both the uh, movable and unmovable properties during this time of state of emergency uh, because most of the people they have the supplementary income from agricultural activities but if the drought is affecting that it become problem on the issues of numb water i think that it's very important that this uh, the government have to subsidize the water for those that are water is not used for commercial purposes not commercial but agricultural purposes uh, and also provide free water for those that are um, using water for agricultural purposes, uh, which, of course, we are talking about those that are ensuring food sovereignty uh, need to be given uh, free water during this period so that they can uh, plow, I mean, and plant more. Kavihua added that the effectiveness of these actions depends on their capacity to tackle the root causes of the drought crisis. It's a high time for us to look for permanent solutions and working on the on the, 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 the short-term solutions. And we've seen that also the declarations of a state of emergency is short-term. So after these declarations or this state of emergency expired, the government need to be put on task to ensure that they come up with the permanent solutions that are specific Namibian because the situations of climate in Namibia is different from anywhere. The situation of environment in Namibia is different from somewhere. So it's very important that um, after the expiration of this state of emergency, tangible things need to come forth. Over 300,000 households are experiencing food insecurity and have registered for assistance through the Drought Relief Food Program. So far, the government has allocated $825 million towards the drought relief program for the 2024 and 2025 financial year. This program is expected to cost approximately over $1 billion.